guys looking at? Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today's Friday. What day is it? March 10th, I think. And um, yeah, I just woke up. We have friends and family here still. Aaron's still here, my cousin from the last vlog. Um, and then Mackenzie, Dylan's old teammate. He is in from Australia, which is super cool. He's here for a little bit um, because there's another friend's wedding coming up soon at the end of this month, I believe. Um, so he just came to stay with us for a little bit. But we're actually leaving for the beach tomorrow. So I thought it would be fun to do just like a getting ready for travel and just like a day in the life in Nashville. Um, I have like some things to do today. I have a meeting. I have to go drive and drop the dogs off in Franklin. They stay at a farm um, in Franklin when we're out of town. So they'll be staying there all week because we're actually going to the beach for the whole week, which will be really fun. I'm really excited. I don't think it's gonna be that warm, but I'm just excited to be by the water. Um, and be by family so Dylan and I are gonna go do that and then I think we're gonna stay for a night or two at the Pearl Hotel which I think I mentioned in the last video but that's kind of what's up I feel like I haven't traveled in a while I went to New York with my mom but I feel like I haven't traveled really with Dylan in a while or like a road trip travel um, so I'm excited to do that with him tomorrow we're gonna leave super early tomorrow morning so today is kind of just like packing getting the house together um, before we leave like cleaning out the fridge and stuff just because we are going to be gone for nine days Which is kind of a long time because like I, I have to go drop the dogs and the place that we take them It's like an hour drive out there and an hour drive home. So it takes up a good bit of my day um, But when Aaron wakes up, I think we're gonna go together I think he's gonna come with me to do that. So I just wanted to start the vlog say happy Friday Hope everyone is doing well. I know when Aaron wakes up. Hope we'll probably get coffee on our little drive to take the dogs But I think I want to make a little just a little mini cold brew this morning because I'm so tired and I need just a little, a little coffee. Good morning. <laughs> Look who's in the bar. I literally don't know what it is, but Rue will not leave Aaron alone. She does not stop licking him, and it's like the only person that she does that to, and it's so funny. Do you love Aaron? This is like my past relationship. <laughs> she loves, it's not reciprocated. <laughs> no, we are not doing that. No, Mama. Winnie, Rue is crushing Winnie. You guys, can you see Winnie? No, because Rue is. Uh uh. We are not barking. <laughs> Two pumps of toffee nut. Shit. Three. And then uh, sweet cream cold foam. And then can I do two of those? Yeah, do you know what type of cup you want to make? Uh, an Aventi, please. Good. Anything else for you? Could one of them have. Oh wait, never mind. That's perfect. Okay. Thank you. Alright, 14.20. Thank you. Thanks. I almost said extra ice, but it's literally over ice, so it would have been dumb. Right? Have you noticed that this the order past stresses couple me days out. that that was literally $11, and then today she just said it was 14 <laughs> Well, they didn't skyrocket within the past two no, days. No, they do. Sometimes they roll out like, like all of a sudden one day Bottega's bags were an extra 250 This isn't Bottega. <laughs> this is Starbucks. <laughs> Bottega's prices went up, YSL's prices went up. Because Bottega's becoming a Chanel. Chanel I told number you that. one, Chanel number two. I truly think, give Bottega, give Bottega 20 years and they'll be as iconic as Chanel. No, because they didn't do Chanel number, wait, what is it, six? What's Chanel number, number one? No, the perfume. It doesn't matter, like, I'm not talking about perfume. No, I'm saying they have to get to that level of iconicness of Chanel number five. Six? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, Winnie. Winnie and Boo Boo. <gasps> Hi. The car behind me is- So what are we doing for lunch? The car behind me is like, why is this girl pulling out a full entire camera to take a video of her dogs? I think about that frequently. What are we doing for lunch? I don't know, I have a meeting. Cheers. Wait, I have to, where's my straw? Here, we can share one, because I'm not going to drink out of it. 
Wait, it's right there. Drizzling. No, because I don't want to, I don't know where to put this one. So take it. Oh, not fair. You got extra ice than me. Then have this one. Okay. Because, oh, well, I need to take this one. Wait, no, then mix mine. <laughs> I'm in the process of packing and Dylan's at work until later tonight so I just went ahead and kind of helped him but I'm sure he'll add some stuff and I slowly just started pulling some outfits to wear. I need to get like comfy clothes and stuff together but I just planned like two or three outfits for the trip. Like I said we're gonna go to my mom and dad's for a good bit and then we'll go to Rosemary Beach and stay at the Pearl so I wanted to have like a cute outfit or two for dinner but I'm about to put our stuff in these base suitcases which i wanted to thank them for sponsoring today's video you guys know i'm obsessed with this luggage i'm gonna do dylan's in this black carry-on i got him this black one and he always uses it for travel for like away games and little weekend trips and then i'm probably gonna do the medium size but i literally have gotten everyone in my family and obviously dylan hooked on this luggage if you guys have not heard me talk about base before i feel like i get everyone, all my friends, family on this luggage. It was created by the actress Shay Mitchell and her kind of overall idea was to create sleeker, more affordable and really high quality luggage. I have bought designer luxury bags and luggage and I swear this stuff is insane. It's like one fourth the price and such, such high quality. They have a few features on the luggage that I really love. First off, the weight indicator, which is right here, literally obsessed with. So if you hold the, let me do it on the carry-on because it's probably easier. If you hold the side, right, where is it? Right here. If you hold this handle up on the side and it's over 50 pounds once you have it packed, this little thing right here will turn red and that is indicating that it's over 50 pounds, which is nice so you don't have to deal with it in the airport. They have 360 degree gliding wheels like these push so easily through the airport. And then there is a memory foam hand cushion underneath this right here. And then it comes with little like dirty clothes bags inside and a bunch of pockets and things like that to section off your underwear, clothes, bikinis, all that stuff. So they really have thought of everything and I am so obsessed with this luggage. I can't talk more highly about it. It's insane and you guys have to try it out. I'm always an overpacker and I love the weight indicator on the side because I love being able to do it from my house and I don't have to like be in the middle of the airport moving all my crap around in my bags. Um, also, every single time I travel, I feel like this like gets better with wear. Sometimes I feel like some of my luggage, I would be like, oh, is something, is a wheel gonna be missing when it comes off the belt? Or is it gonna have made it through without cracking? Sometimes I feel like some cheaper brand, like hard shell suitcases, like they'll start to crack. I have traveled with these a ton and they're honestly just as good as the first time that I've used them. Their luggage comes in multiple sizes and colors and for shorter trips, they have a weekender bag, which I feel like you guys have seen several times. I use it just for like little weekend trips, super functional and even has a little place to store your shoes separately, which I love because sometimes obviously your shoes, bottom of your shoes are dirty and I don't wanna mix it with like my clean clothes and things like that. So Base has over 30,000 five-star reviews and every piece is made to look better with miles. So right now Base is offering my listeners 15% off your first purchase by visiting Base Travel travel.com slash ratkey again that is base travel.com slash ratkey for 15 percent off your purchase definitely take advantage you guys it is the best luggage best quality that i have used yet and i feel like i've tried a ton of brands when it comes to luggage and just like little bags here and there they also have so many different types of bags if you're not looking for luggage they have like backpacks they have cross bodies they have the weekender tote like i was mentioning literally something for everyone so again that's base travel.com slash ratkey it's B-E-I-S travel.com slash Racky. So check them out. I'll have it linked down below in the description for you guys. And I'll also have it here on the screen. So again, thank you base for sponsoring today's video. Such a dream to work with you guys. I'm obsessed with the brand and the products. They're insane. If you've not tried them, check them out. I'm going to continue packing up. I need to get a few more outfits pulled together and get some comfy clothes and pajamas. And I think that we'll be all ready to go. I always love going to the beach. I feel like it's super casual and easy to pack for. And especially like when I know I'm going to my parents' house, like my mom has stuff in case I forget anything and it's really nice and easy it's not like a high stress work trip which is fun um like i don't have to plan all these outfits it's just like casual comfy cozy vibe so i'm super excited to see my mom and dad and danny i haven't been to the beach in a while and i'm really happy that dylan gets to come with this is my outfit Aaron mckenzie mckenzie say hi to the vlog <laughs> dress bar right look at this mckenzie's wearing my jacket from um the frankie shop I didn't have a jacket that would go with it. Yeah, you actually got the same pants on. Show, Dylan, show your outfit. 
My jacket is from Aritzia. I just recently got it and I think it's so cute. Little white bag. This belt is from Forward. Jeans are frame. I'm wearing these boots I always wear when I go out. They're pretty comfy. Um, they're from Revolve. And then this little broad top is from Revolve like years ago. I got this like two year, two summers ago, I think. And then I put that body glow stuff on that Patrick tossed up, I showed you guys in the last vlog and I really love it. So we're going out. We're gonna go to the W rooftop. I think that's where we'll start. And then somewhere else fun. Alex Earl is literally in Nashville. We're gonna go find her. Yeah. <laughs> Look at my mom, she literally got me my coffee stuff because she watches the vlogs. <laughs> she got me the exact coffee. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. We made it to Florida. It's two days later. Foggy lens. My dad and mom just laid all this grass in the back and look at how Last time I was here, the backyard didn't even go past these two palms right here and they had a bunch of dirt and sand dumped to flatten out the yard and look how good it looks. They have a few more truckloads of sod coming, I think this week actually, to finish it, but look at how big. It's so exciting. You, why do you look like Mrs. Winnie? Why do you look like my Mrs. Winnie? He's a cute baby. He's a cute baby. <laughs> Rachel Ray? Yeah, I saw him with your Hey, my name is Rachel Ray. Welcome back. <laughs> Yesterday at the beach, I got uh, absolutely fried. And it's totally my fault. Should be in there. I used to have some iris and I don't. Whoop, whoop. I mean, I'm for sure we're going to bike ride up. So, what are y'all going to do right now? I don't know, but I'm so sad. Okay, I don't, I, you don't understand, so am I. What is Linda to Jonas, because that's not here. Right there. Do you want your- Are you ready to go biking? Yeah. What shorts do you have on? My man, Bill shorts. Wait, what a terrible spot to set up and do this. What do you mean? <laughs> People gotta get through. <laughs> We're going on a bike ride. I just put on this little Lulu outfit, which I showed you guys in a recent haul with them i'll link my little outfit i'm obsessed with this pullover i wear it almost every day i am so extremely sunburned i'm embarrassed to even be showing you guys because i should have put on more sunscreen i was so bad at it we had the best day on the beach yesterday i barely vlogged but it was such a nice day we had, the sun was out it was so hot and then we had a rainstorm in the middle of the night last night so it kind of cooled it down a little bit but we're gonna head off for a bike ride which one should I ride? I think I'm kind of cold. Once Look, he's kind of chilly. I'm just saying, like <laughs> Dylan smart. stops, you have to be able to put your feet down. That's gonna be too high. Ow, you hear my hip crack? <laughs> Try the Schwinn. Is that I okay, that's what I said. <laughs> okay, that's not working. Rachel doesn't like to ride a bike very much. She's a little. <laughs> I don't know, but you need to move out of my way. <laughs> oh, I'm zoomed out. That's why it looked weird. There, smile. Go fit, fit. Go fit, fit. <laughs> <laughs>
that one even open yet? Do you think there's one that's already open? Where? Lettuce. No, my mom just bought it for us. Do it. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, Finn. Hit the giddy. What's it called? Gritty? Did you just say giddy? <laughs> Hit the gritty. Jimmy, Jimmy. Hey. Go. Go, Jimmy. I'm on your team? Duh. Well, before this, when you thought I was bad, you wanted Dylan on your team. No, I lied. <laughs> Pull your pants up. Pouring on me. Brenda, do it. Especially Rachel. Come down here, Come down here. Stop it. You need it. Here, Danny. Uh-oh. Kick it in, kick it in, kick it in. Yeah. <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> Danny, let's see it. <laughs> Danny, be the goalie. Block don't no. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Danny, get your shirt off. Dylan's trying to teach Danny how to head the ball and he he doesn't want to do it, but Dylan's like Dylan's in dad mode. Too bad. Oh. <laughs> nope. You lost. I can't always help you when you're losing. <laughs> you have to you have to help yourself. Yeah, you do. Take it from there. Do your hardest kick. Do it, do it. Throw it in. As hard as you can kick it. I gotta be thinking about it. The sun ended up coming out, so we're gonna head to the beach for a little bit, and then tonight we're gonna go to out to dinner. Um. We got here two nights ago, and then yesterday we had the full beach day, which I kind of showed you guys. I got absolutely fried, and we're here at my parents' for three, two, two more days, and then we're going to go to the Pearl, which I'm excited about. I just actually booked the hotel this morning. My parents live about an hour away. If you guys are new around here, that's where Dylan and I got married, so I'm excited to go back. I'm actually going to put it in this glass. Glass is plastic, so I'm gonna use this one instead. Ava should be home, but she, she got all her packages and stuff. So. Okay, Dylan and I went down to the beach for the rest of the day. It ended up clearing up, and it was like the nicest weather. I just took a shower. My hair is soaking wet. That's like a thing with extensions at the beach. I never know what to do with my hair. We're heading to dinner. Um, my dad leaves for uh, Vegas tomorrow for work. So we're going to do like a little family dinner before he leaves. We're going to go to a place called White Marlin. It's a new restaurant in town. 
the town my parents live, if you guys are new, it's called Port St. Joe. It's like my favorite place ever because there's like no one here. You can ride on the beach, you can bring your dogs on the beach, you can have fires on the beach. It's just like the cutest little town. It almost reminds me of like safe haven vibes and I love it. So we're gonna go to the new little restaurant in town. My outfit is all Zara. I'm wearing this little button up from Zara. I just want it to be really comfy. And then my pants are just these, these like white oversized pants. I'm just gonna wear my little slides. <laughs> You're cute, huh? I was gonna wear my black blazer. Wear it. What are you doing? Can you, can you what? Football? Oh, pickleball. Are you good at pickleball? Uh, maybe. Let's see your pickleball swing. Oh, wow. Hi, Ray. Guys are funny. Ooh, this is pretty back here. We might be a little chilly, though. Hey, Rach, can you come here for a sec? And I said, yeah, why? She said, and you might want to bring your camera. <laughs> I wanted you to come see with me. It's so beautiful. It's kind of chilly. It's a nice beautiful, day, though. Absolutely beautiful day. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so early. The sun's going to warm this up, and it's going to be just gorgeous out. So I think I'll go do Finn a quick walk while you and Dylan get up and have some breakfast or whatever. Do you want I'm going to do my hair. I need to wet it and, like, blow it out. Okay. And I'm gonna go make a coffee. <laughs> this is on top of my mom's dog bed. Because I miss Winnie. I miss Winnie too. She's always with me. Do you want me to go put my shirt on? She or also has a shirt. They've seen it before. <laughs> and I wear it for pajamas. Oh man. Slept in, it's like 10 o'clock. Honestly, daylight savings has been so nice, but since Dylan's on spring break, I'm kind of taking this week as my vacation as well. So I really am not working besides just vlogging for you guys. Um, today is our last full day here at my parents' house. My dad just left this morning, so it's just my mom, Danny, me and Dylan here. My dad had to go on a work trip. And then um, tomorrow, Dylan and I in the morning are going to get up and go to Rosemary Beach. So today's the last day of being here with my mom and being at my parents' house. So I think this will be the last day of this vlog and then I might make a new little mini like staycation 30 day vlog for you guys because I know a lot of you guys go and visit there and I want to do like recommendations so you guys can like refer back to it. What kind of coffee do you want? Just black please. Black coffee. Yeah. Coming right up. Thanks. Welcome. back from being in town oh we just got back from town we had lunch and we went and checked out a few little stores we went to Picasso which we always love to go to if you guys are ever in Apachicola and they also have one in Rosemary it's called Picasso I just got this sweatshirt it's so comfy and I got a few other Dylan being in the background do a little sunset beach I ride got a dirt. I got a little dirt on this shirt where on the arm Everything that I buy you that's white or nice, you ruin. I know, I'm sorry. Is that just a boy thing or is it just a you thing? Because I'm just thing. like. That's why men don't wear white, but. I got this sweatshirt that I'm wearing right now. I really love the color and I also got it in like a green color. It's like the perfect oversized. 
crew neck, but it's not too thin and it's not too thick. It's like the perfect beach crew neck. And then I also got some really, really cute new coffee mugs for the kitchen, the little open shelving. And I'll show you guys in Nashville vlogs when we get back because they wrapped them all up for us really pretty. Um, so we can like travel home with them and they don't break and stuff. And I got a few other things. I got like a candle for the house. They just have like really good home stuff. So if you guys are ever in Apalachicola or Rosemary area, it's called Bacasa. It's B-E-C-A-S-A. -S it's the cutest stuff. So I vlogged a little bit on my phone, but I literally got snow cone. I've been carrying this little bag, this mini Jody from Bottega. I recently got this and I really love it. It just doesn't really fit anything. And I like my big vlog camera and I just didn't bring it. So I've been vlogging on my phone this trip. And I also feel like I haven't been good at keeping up with the vlog this trip, but I, I just feel like I haven't seen my family in such a long time or like been to the beach in such a long time that it's been nice to kind of just like disconnect um, from like work, I guess. Like Dylan's fully on break. So I kind of have, like I said earlier, taking it as a little break for myself. So I hope I've gotten enough like vlog footage for you guys. We're gonna go do a little sunset beach ride. I'll get a few clips on my phone from that and then I'll probably end off this video. And then tomorrow I'm gonna start up a new vlog of us going to Rosemary and doing a little staycation. So I'm gonna go make a drink. We're gonna go enjoy our night. It's already five o'clock and I am obsessed with the daylight savings, you guys. It is so good. I should have been Guys, I just saw two dolphins. Look at them, look at them, look at them. <gasps> they were just like so out of the water. <gasps> look at them. Babe, do you see them? That is so cool. I love, they are so close. Yeah, that's so cool. I kind of want to dive in and go hang out with them. They're not stupid either. There was some reflective things sticking out of the water. Oh look! There's a bunch of them. There's somebody, this is like their feeding hour. There's some over there. There's a bunch of them. Hold on, look at them right there! Look at them! Oh, yeah. Look at them. 